It's me to give glory. Hi, YouTube family. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving and a weekend. Good, good, good weekend. Okay, so today is November. It's the 29th, and today is Monday. Mm -hmm. So let's get down with it, because I know you guys want to know how I did for Thanksgiving, don't you? I know you want to know. You want to know how I did. You want for me to tell you. Let me think about it. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because mm -hmm. since I know I want you to know, because I know y'all want to know what I know, so I'm going to have to tell y'all what I know. Because y'all just wondering what I know. Oh, what she knows. So you want to know. So if I know, i got to tell you what I know. So we all know what I be knowing. Because once I know something that I tell you, then you be knowing what I, have. I, I already knew. <laughs> anyway, you guys. Okay. First of all, Thursday morning I got up, which was Thanksgiving. I got up late, of course, because I had to give me some rest. I was woe out. Yeah. So I got me some rest, got up, did my exercise. But with me getting up late and then doing my exercise and then had to finish cooking afterwards, you know, that threw me late for eating. Yeah. So I ate around three something, which I didn't like. Mm -mm. Me didn't like that at all because I'm so used to eating every three hours. It just threw me off. And you know why I say threw me off? I was threw off on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. So on um, once I ate, of course, let me tell you what I ate. Yeah. But what I ate, it wasn't even the portion size. It was less than the serving size of, you know, each thing that I had on my plate. Anyway, I had cornbread, which I haven't been eating a lot of bread at all. So, yeah. And I think that's my problem for this month because I was adding up the weight I lost last month and then this month, kind of comparing things, seeing what I met, trying to get ready for the 1st of December um, so I can start, you know, changing my routine and everything. Yeah, I'm eating a whole lot of more bread than I did last month. I'm going to have to cut that back out. See, last month I probably ate bread once out the week or maybe twice. But I was looking at my November paper where I write down what everything I eat. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of bread. I don't want no bread on my hips and no bread on my breasts. <laughs> but anyway, let me finish telling you what I ate on Thursday. Um, I had cabbage, cornbread, yam, dirty rice, slice of turkey, and of course, I had some cheesecake and some peanut butter cake. But it was a you know small slice, but still. But y'all, let me tell you guys, when I ate it. The cheesecake and that peanut butter cake is amazing what I'm talking about. It was like just heaven right here on earth. <laughs> I'm just playing. But it was so good. Oh, my gosh. And the thing was, even though I ate a small piece, I had cheesecake and peanut butter cake for three days straight. Yeah, it was once out the day, but I had it three days straight. I had some fr um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I just had a piece of peanut butter cake on Sunday. No cheesecake. And I'm bad. I know it. I'm bad. It was a little bit, you guys. It really was. And so the same thing happened on Friday. I ate once that day. And then I ate once on um, Saturday. And um, I don't like that. Because my routine is eating every two, every um, three hours to keep my metabolism going, keep me from getting so hungry. So to me, I was like, oh, I didn't do good. And the reason why I said I didn't do good, even though it might sound like I did good to you guys, is because I didn't keep my routine like I normally do, you know, with me trying to rest, of course, and getting up late and doing exercise late. So kind of, once I got up late and did my exercise late, it threw my whole day late. Because, you know, since I didn't um, have to work those days, I got up late trying to get some rest. So, yeah, that threw my whole day late, but that's okay. And then I didn't drink a lot of soda either, you guys. So I hope you didn't drink a lot of soda either, because I'm going to spank that hand on pop. I'm going to mm, mm, mm. pop those hands if you drunk all that soda. And you better not be looking like that ham that you had ate. On them days. And you better not be looking like that turkey running around with flapping your wings. Hear me? <laughs> but anyway. And also another thing I didn't do that I usually do in my routine. My water intake was bad. On two of those days. Bad. Thursday I only had four cups of water. That's not me. I usually do, you know, at least ten cups of water, nine cups of water. At the most, I'm going to get my eight. But I didn't even do that. I only did four. But Friday I did real good with the water. I did 14 cups. 14 cups of water. I was two cups from drinking a gallon of water. Oh, my God. Two cups away. And then, of course, um, I'm looking down because I got to roll down. Um, on Saturday, I only drank four cups of water, too. So, I didn't do good with my water intake on Thursday and on um, Saturday. And then, of course, I didn't do good with my eating because not for as, on, not for as on how much I ate, but on how many times I ate the day. You know, I only ate like once that day. And so once I ate around 3 o'clock on each of those days, it threw me, not 3 o'clock, somewhere about 2 o'clock, somewhere like that. It threw me getting hungry after 7. 
Y'all know I don't like to eat at seven. Don't y'all know that? Y'all know I like to eat at seven, too. Because I know, so I know that you know that I know that I don't like to eat at seven. Because I told y'all that I don't like to eat at seven. So, of course, so since I knew that you know it, too. So, we both know it. So, we both know I don't like to eat at seven. So, when I eat at the seven, y'all know that I ain't want to eat at the seven. So, I told y'all I ain't want to eat at the seven. But I ate at the seven anyway. <laughs> so, of course, my phone rings, but I ain't answer. Somebody else going to answer. But anyway, but when I ate, I ate like, you know, like on Thursday, once I got hungry again, I ate a, a slice of turkey. And then on um, the other two days when I got hungry, I ate like an apple or some some nuts or something like that, or apple and some nuts. And I didn't want to do that either because I don't want to eat after that. It throw my whole routine off, but that's okay, you guys. That's, that's okay. You understand? That's okay. Because, yeah, I'm back on track this week. I don't have any more cheesecake or peanut butter cake in there. <laughs> So that's a good thing. It's all gone bye bye. I had to make sure it get out of my house. I was sending peanut butter cake over here and sending cheesecake over there to get it all out. So by the time Monday came, it'll be good to go. Yeah, I won't have no cheesecake in the time. I, to give glory, come here and eat me. Look at the cherries on top of me. Don't I look good? Come here. Eat me the peanut butter cake, all the smoothness, the rich see I'm going back into that fantasy. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. But anyway, um, let me see what else, what else. Um, other than that, I think I did pretty good. Um, last week I was 238.8, and I lost some more weight. Yeah, I still lost weight in spite of me not following my routine like I wanted to. I lost 1.8 pounds, so now I'm 237.0. Yay for me! I'm bringing that weight down, not up, down, down, not up, down, not up. I know I look crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just excited because I lost some more weight. The scale's still moving down and not up. I don't care if it's one pound. I don't care if it's some ounces. I don't care. It's going down. It's not moving up. In spite of me eating that cheesecake and that peanut butter cake. Mm -hmm. But I tried to work it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried to work it out. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, um, I think on, I'm going to say Friday night. I exercised again. Even though I exercised that morning, I did like 30 minutes that night too. Yeah. Because if I wanted to eat it, I had to pay for it. So I had to work it off. I had to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it be. So we want to be, you know, greedy and eat more than what we're supposed to. Or we want to get us to treat ourselves. Yeah, we're going to have to work a little harder. Yeah. So that's what I put in my mind. If I want to treat myself, I'm going to have to work harder. So it's going to be on me. So I'm going to have to get up and get down with it. Mm-hmm. Because I can't let that scale move back up. It's going down. got to keep going down. Mm -hmm. And don't y'all know the month of November is actually going to be out of here. Wednesday is going to be December 1st. So those of us are doing the um, the Plus Size Model Challenge, yeah, we're going to be right back on here Wednesday with our update. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another thing, you guys, I am so happy. This ain't got to do with none of the rest of this, but I am happy because what do you got to do with it? Because, you know, I set that goal that I want to lose 30 pounds. And don't y'all know I am so close. So I already meet my goal. I'm probably like, let me see, like six or five pounds away from my 30 pound goal. I am so excited. So I mean, by the time I first come, I'm gonna lost more than what I want to really lose. Oh my gosh! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> anyway, uh, let me see what else. Um, and also. I think I lost more weight back in October instead of here in November because I was just kind of going over my little book where I keep everything wrote down in trying to see where I'm at and how I've been doing and what I need to change because I'm getting ready for, you know, the, my video for Wednesday to give all y'all that update, you know, stuff like that. It's like I lost more weight in October. In, in November, I didn't lose as much. And I think that's that calm bread, y'all. That's that calm bread. Holding on to me, that calm bread got me like that. Mm-hmm. It don't. That calm bread hugging me. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to stop eating all that bread, y'all. Because I don't eat the fried foods and stuff like that. But that bread, mm-hmm, that bread just loving me down. Bread, mm-hmm. That's why my stomach like that. I still got some bread. <laughs> I'm just teasing. But I was just kind of looking at all this. So I'm trying to get everything ready for y'all guys on Wednesday. I'm trying to see that everything. Let me make sure. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to see what, my, what exercise I'm going to be doing for next month. Also, you guys, I have to find something that kind of pump me up some more. I mean, I love my Tabo. But of luck, I lost more. Well, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to say it look like I lost more doing my walking last month, but that that probably got to do with it. It's that bread. Mm, it's that, y'all better leave that bread alone. That bread will hug your hips and your thighs and your breasts. <laughs> y'all let me get off here because I got other stuff to go do. Y'all know that. And I'm saying, playing with you. I got to go back to work. Um, anyway, 
Um, so I hope y'all guys have a great week. And everybody, let's get ready. Those that are in the challenge should get ready to do our update for Wednesday. Yeah, because November gone. We going to December. So, and y'all continue to be positive and stay motivated and encouraged. And I thank all my subscribers. I love you guys. All y'all that comment and rate and subscribe to me. I love y'all guys so much because y'all don't really know what that does for me. That really helps me to keep going because I know that I'm motivating and I'm helping somebody else. So it makes me keep going so I keep helping you to go on too. So y'all just keep on being strong and like I say, be positive and motivated. And y'all have a great week and I will see y'all later. And um, I think that's about it. So let's keep bringing that weight down, you guys, and not up. Uh,